to introduce you to two people if you don't know them. This, uh, the one on the left is uh, Bill Bernbach, uh, and the one on the right is Paul Rand. Um, they both did really good work. Uh, Bill Bernbach is famous for doing all the Volkswagen campaigns back in the 60s. Um, he's mentioned a lot in the TV series Mad Men, but we're not talking about him today. He's the writer, you see. Uh, <laughs> we're talking about Paul Rand's line of work. Uh, he's a graphic designer and he became, uh, if, please correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Bill Bernbach's first art director. And I think some historians would say they were the first creative team uh, back in the 60s. Um, he's famous, uh, Paul Rand is famous for uh, coming up with the, uh, designing the, an IBM logo, which I didn't bother to look for, but uh, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, <laughs> so there, we're going to talk about art directors, not art direction. Uh, who's ever gone to this website, Hovering Art Directors? Hovering over art directors, is, I think is the correct way to do it. If you go there, uh, you'll see a lot of photos. Um, of a lot of people around a computer. And um, somehow, as an art director, you're doing your work, you're doing a layout for a brochure, you're doing a layout for uh, a print ad or a billboard, or you're doing the storyboard for your TVC or whatever. The creative director or the account person will just go to, or your writer or will just go over and hover over your shoulder and say, well, how is it doing? Well, maybe you should change that part. You know, maybe you should. You know, so, so this is collection of these photos on this site. You'll be seeing a lot of that through this talk. Uh, here's one, and I can't read the copy because it's so low. Art directors are responsible for what advertisements look like. So they're, we're responsible for the look and feel of the campaign. Uh, here's another one. They are involved in creating a campaign that have an instant, who art directed this? Uh, <laughs> Positive impact on the target. Ah, I'll just read it on the monitor. <laughs> and the target audience. There you go. Uh, here's another one. It, that's probably the writer telling the art director to um, make, the lo make the copy bigger so it can be read. Uh, works from a brief with a copywriter, as he said, um, uh, uh, from, uh, with a copywriter. And sometimes these days, it's not just working with a copywriter, you work with a digital specialist or you work with uh, whoever, a uh, social media specialist. Um, generates ideas to present to the client, of course. Uh, basically, we're the kitchen of the restaurant uh, for the client to, for, but the client says, put more salt. Okay. Uh, <laughs> works on designs to produce an effective advertising campaign, of course. Um, commission specialists such as artists and photographers. Um, so that I can just tell you a little bit about myself. This is a piece of work I commissioned for a uh, adopt a cat uh, campaign. Uh, manages projects and works within the budget. Yes, we have to work within the budget, and we have to learn that the hard way as we grow older. Uh, <laughs> um, I was once told by a creative director of mine, uh, "Do this project from within zero to nothing." Budget. So <laughs> manages. Uh, edits the final results for presentation to the client, um, which is very good. Okay, so those, that's what, pretty much a very vague thing of what art directors do. Um, but where do you come from? Where do we come from? You probably start out as a junior art director. Uh, in the, where I come from, in the Philippines, there's, there are no junior art directors. We start out as art directors right away. Um, with the pay level of the junior art director. Uh, <laughs> and here in Malaysia, I noticed uh, a lot of the art directors come from either become, from either becoming, coming from visualizers, they were visualizers or they were designers. And then somehow they decided, okay, I wanna be an art director. So that's, that's the trend I noticed. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but, and then, Become a, become a senior art director. I never became a senior art director. It's also not popular in the agency I came from. So I moved up to associate creative director right away. Uh, no, after many years, not right away. Um, 
then creative director, and then executive creative director, and then now bigger agencies, uh, networks, uh, so many people in the office, you know, somehow they need a, a, a place for the ECDs to move up to. They've created chief creative officers. Okay, so it's not the last part of my career, I can still move up. Um, and then I was also, at some point, a, a regional creative director. It's a, lot of, it's a kind of job that a lot of uh, some agencies work on. Not, it doesn't mean you're God or anything. It just means that you are a creative. <laughs> and you're working on a brand that works in different markets. And you can even be a junior regional creative director, if you know. <laughs> I didn't start out become, uh, as an art director. I drew comics. Uh, I drew comics for a while. This is the very first comic book I released when I was young uh, in the Philippines. So payasa means clown, and it's an evil clown. And he kills uh, child abusers. You know? and so, yeah. <laughs> and then there's a detective. He's trying to figure out what's going on. And then I was a big fan of uh, this illustrator, a uh, British illustrator named Dave McKean. And his illustrations always used photographs, so I studied photography. But I ended up becoming a fashion photographer. Uh, not my photos. I couldn't find my old photos. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to shoot rock band album covers. Uh, for this Filipino band. And, and then I graduated college. Uh, this is the university. I graduated the University of the Philippines College of Fine Arts. After that, uh, I just started looking for a job in advertising. No one would get me. I applied to BBDO, Ogilvy, TBWA, Leo Burnett. What was the other one? McCann. McCann was on top of my list. BBDO was at the bottom. Uh, Guess which one, the one who hired me. They wouldn't hire me because my work wasn't good enough. Uh, I was too young, didn't know anything. My, my, I spent a year working on one thesis, this, which is the way most schools work, and it doesn't work that way. So I studied again in San Francisco at the Academy of Arts University. I stayed there one year. I didn't finish the course. Uh, while I was there, I was a visualizer. Again, not my work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to point out the idea that art directors, most of the good ones know how to draw, uh, at, at least, and then they can present ideas with just a drawing. They don't need a computer. Um, you know, just shut down the computer, turn it off, throw it away. And then uh, only after it gets a, your idea gets approved when you switch it on. Uh, I try to tell myself that. Uh, and then uh, finally, coming back from San Francisco, I went. I was hired by the fifth agency on the list and started doing ads like these uh, for Saturday. This is a head, for a headache, headache tablet for persistent headaches is the line written by the writer. Uh, and, I did, uh, and, and I did ads, a lot of print ads. Uh, back in when we were younger, we did print ads, not banner ads. Okay, what turns me on as an art director? Uh, that's Lee Klo, by the way, some guy I want to work with someday, maybe hopefully before I reach that look. Uh, I like solving problems. I like solving client problems. Uh, I hate solving math problems when I was in school, but I like solving client. I like I love brainstorming, coming up with an idea. Uh, it's like you can sit in a chair all day doing nothing, and that's why the accounts people just bother you anytime because you you look like you're not doing anything. Uh, and then. Uh, Cracking the client brief, of course. It's, it's, it's the same as solving the problem. Somebody should have edited this. Uh, producing, hopefully the spelling's correct. The idea, I love attending shoots. I used to, and now it's quite. Uh, I love seeing my work uh, in the actual uh, billboard. You know, Even though I've been doing it for a while, you know, I'm driving down the street and say, oh, it's out. Hey, 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 stop, stop, I take a picture of it. Yeah? So this is a piece of work I did for Philippine tourism, and it's in LA, so it's really cool. Uh, I like winning awards, um, and I think I like working with people who do, because it means they want to push themselves. But I've discovered something bigger than awards, which uh, I like it when people talk about my work. 
people I don't know, people who isn't my mother and my brother, you know, it's like, and then they talk about it on Twitter and say, oh, do you see that TVC, do you see that billboard? It's really cool. And it's really fulfilling. And hopefully it leads to like an effectivity award, leads back to an award, anyways. <laughs> um, uh, what do I expect from fresh grads I intend to hire? Um, I guess like uh, Jeffy asked who wants to be writers, who wants to be art directors? One, two, three, four, five, cool. All right, all five of you, give my number, give you later. Right. <laughs> uh, a good portfolio with ideas so good, I'd want to hire them right away so the ad can be sold to the client right away and produced. Because um, it's like, when I look at the work, it's like, oh, I wish I did this, but there's no way for me to do it because it's some, from somebody who isn't in my office. So I want to hire that person. That's the kind of book I look for uh, in a, in a, you know, somebody who's coming in as creative. Everybody said this, and I think you'll hear it some more today, passion. Uh, passion's so big, it doesn't fit the screen. Uh, you just gotta love the work, any work, any work you wanna get into. Uh, like I said, love, because you're gonna be in, when you become a creative or an art director, you will be working, you'll be spending most of your time at work. More, than, more, more time at work than spending it with your wife, your girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, children. Because it's just so much work. You know? <laughs> and a lot of overtime food, that's why I'm so big. All right. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs>